Hello Plymouth, it's Luke Pard, Labour and Cops Parliamentary Candidate for Plymouth Sutton and Devonport. We have Angela Smith, who's the Shallow Water Minister, with us today in Plymouth. She's just been reshuffled for this position by Ed Miliband, and I was really keen to make sure she was coming to Plymouth to see our sewage treatment plants at Camel's Head to understand how important it is that this facility is replaced and updated so we don't have the pond that affects the residents nearby, and also to learn more about how the legacy of high water bills in the southwest means the cost of living crisis is acutely felt here. This is what happens with our visit. So I'm Angela Smith, a Shadow Water Minister for the Labour Opposition. Uh, here today to learn more about the schemes being operated by South West Water to help their customers who find it difficult to pay their bills. We're now in TJ's Drake Ward where Angela's meeting local businesses and water bill payers that have been affected by the legacy of high bills. Hello, we are joined today by the Shadow Water Minister, Angela Smith. We've just spoken about the issues to do with water bills and now we're going to head off and do some campaigning. So it's great to have Angela here today uh, in Plymouth. I'm the candidate in Stoke and I have to say out on the doorstep the cost of living crisis is a real issue for people, not least the cost of water in this region. Every visitor we get to Plymouth we make sure they see us campaign. And so Angela's joined us on a canvas team. We're canvassing Stangray Avenue in Drake Ward. Great having Andrew in Plymouth today. It's really important that she understands how water bills are affecting us in the southwest. I think she's going back to London and her constituency in Sheffield with a real strong knowledge that the high legacy of these water bills is having a real impact here. She's spoken to residents as well as businesses, business owners here, so she understands the, the impact it's having. And for me, it's really important that not only do we fight to make sure that we get rid of these stories, but we make sure that the Labour government that will replace them understands the needs and issues affecting Plymouth and that's why we invited her here today and that's why I'm really glad she's been able to visit. So thank you Angela and let's keep up the good work.